So, ladies and gentlemen, let's follow along with my steps. Okay? First thing, we're going to plot the focus, which is a point. Now, when I plot things, though, I didn't say this, but I always like to plot and then label, so then I don't forget what is what. Because if you guys remember when you did the points, I told you to, to, um, to label that first point because, and to use a different color because they can quickly get confusing, right? You have all these points everywhere and you kind of forget. So my focus is at negative two, up two. That's my focus, so I'll just put a nice little F. Now my directrix is at the line x equals zero. So here's the x-axis. x is equal to zero is right here. Well, if, I, if, I have, if x is always equal to zero, it's a line, so therefore, that's my directrix, right? Now, remember, the directrix is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. I didn't tell you to draw the axis of symmetry, but sometimes it's helpful. So that's my axis of symmetry. Here's my directrix. I know my parabola has to, it can't go up because then it wouldn't be going through the axis of symmetry, right? Axis symmetry cuts in half, so it has to open right or left. Well, the graph doesn't open up towards the directrix. It always opens up towards the focus. Now, the problem is we don't know where the vertex is. But if you guys remember my diagrams, if you guys remember, we looked at something like this. Here's the vertex. Here's the focus. Remember, the distance from here to here is p. The distance from here to here is negative p. But forget about direction. Forget about direction. Just think of pure length. From here to here is p. From here to here is p. So the total length from focus to the directrix is 2p. That means the vertex is right in the middle. And do you guys remember majority of students had trouble doing that one where you had the initial point and the other point? And what you guys figured out was that point was in the middle, right? You guys remember that? Remember you guys said that? It was like, it's in the middle. You get, and a lot of people, almost all groups had the biggest trouble. So your vertex is in the middle. So is it possible for me to find the middle between my focus point here and this vertical line? Well, the distance is 2. So the distance from here to here is 2p. And in this problem, that 2p is equal to 2. right? However, I should actually point out, if you're going to go in this direction, uh, let's just do it in this way. 2, 2, so you could say p is equal to 1. So here's my point right here, vertex. So the vertex is right in the middle. Now, here's where I want you guys to get, here's where we got to get a little careful. Because yes, the length is 1. However, the distance, the, the value of p is the, um, is the distance, distance from your vertex to your focus. The length is 1 but the distance is going in the negative direction. So therefore, p is actually going to be equal to negative 1. So p is actually equal to negative 1 because the direction is, is going to the left. Julian, does that make sense? Julian, does that make sense? It's really important to make sure because p is going to be negative, and you need to understand how it's going. So therefore, opposite of p, um, opposite of p then is going to be positive 1, right? That would be going to the right. The distance from the vertex to the directrix is in the positive direction. That takes you to opposite of p. All right, so we know p is now equal to negative 1. Um, and then we know the focus. Well, if here the focus is negative 2, 2, can we figure out what this coordinate point is? Negative 1, 2, right? And remember, that's h. And that's k. So now we know what h and k is, and we know what p is. That's all the information we need to write the equation of a parabola. The only thing left we need to understand is we know the graph opens up to the left. So therefore, which equation should we use? The vertical or the horizontal conic section? Horizontal, which is, please don't put things away. It's really rude, and I'm not done. You'll have plenty of time. So that is my equation for the horizontal, which provided to you. We know h is going to be uh, negative 1 and k is 2. So I do y minus 2 squared equals 4 times negative 1 times x minus negative 2. Then I go and simplify my equation. y minus 2 squared equals negative 4 times x plus 2. And that is your final equation for question number 3.
Anybody have any questions on that? Makes sense?